okay thanks for watching everybody knows that a square root of minus 1 is equal to i uh, but did you ever think what is the square root of i well this video is on that topic now first let a square root of i equal to a plus b i and if we can find the value of a and b then we are done from here we are going to approach in algebraical way so first square both sides here a square root and a square will cancel out only i is left and i is equal to here a square plus 2a b i and let me do the other part here for you separately b i square this is equal to b square times i square and i square equal to negative 1 so this is equal to negative b square and this is equal to negative b square right now we are going to write the real part together and the imaginary part separately so i is equal to first the real part a square minus b square because they don't have i so they are the real part plus 2a b i this is the imaginary part or complex part because here is i and i is same as 0 plus 1 i right so here 0 is the real part and this is the complex part here this is the real part and this is the complex part and the real part must be equal to the real part and the complex part must be equal to the complex part so a square minus b square is equal to 0 and 2a b i equal to 1 times i so from here divide both side by i so 2a b equal to only 1 and now divide both side by 2a so b is equal to 1 over 2a now we are going to plug in the value of b here so let's see this is equal to a square minus 1 over 2a whole square and this is equal to 0 well this is now a square minus 1 square is 1 2 a square is 4 a square equal to 0 this is nicely equal to 4 a to the 4 minus 1 over 4 a square equal to 0 how can we have a fraction equal to 0 only when the numerator equal to 0 right so this from here you can write 4 a to the 4 minus 1 equal to 0 now add 1 on both sides so 4 a to the 4 equal to 1 now divide both sides by 4 so a to the 4 equal to 1 over 4 now we are going to take fourth root on both sides and when we take even numbers root we should put a plus minus so here fourth root and fourth a to the four the power will cancel out so only a is left and this is equal to plus minus one over now what is the fourth root of four let's see it here fourth root of four four is same as two square and fourth root is same as 2 square to the 1 over 4 and here multiply these two things so you will get 2 to the 1 over 2 this is same as a square root of 2 right so this is equal to 1 over a square root of 2 well so we have got the value of a now we need the value of b so plug in the value of a here and when a is equal to positive 1 over square root of 2 then b is equal to 1 over 2a so 2 is same as square root of 2 times square root of 2 and a is 1 over square root of 2 so the square root 1 over square root and this will cancel out so only 1 over square root of 2 is left and another part when a is equal to negative 
square root of 2 negative 1 over square root of 2 then b is equal to 1 over 2a and 1 over 2 is same as again square root of 2 times square root of 2 and a is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2 so this is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2 okay so we have got the value of a and b and so we are done i square root of i this is equal to a plus b i right and a is equal to 1 over square root of 2 and when a is equal to 1 over square root of 2 b is equal to 1 over square root of 2 then i or when a is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2 then b is also equal to negative 1 over square root of 2 times i and that's the answer here this is the two value of square root of 2 that's it guys thanks a lot for watching